Prairie Health officials are making some changes after seeing non-cartridge e-cigarettes end up in the hands of kids. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo has the details on how they're trying to steer kids in a safer direction. When the FDA cracked down on the marketing of flavored vape cartridges like Juul, the hope was that teens wouldn't be subject to ads promoting more flavors than a Baskin Robbins. But walk into any Connecticut smoke shop or convenience store and you'll see disposable non-cartridge flavored vapes displayed. And Waterbury health officials say kids under 21 are finding a way to get their hands on them. So if it's something that's trending and someone wants it, they're going to figure it out. As part of National Prevention Week next week, they're hosting a Drop the Vape and Pick Up Skates event at Roller Magic. The event next Tuesday will feature more than just a night out. Health Department officials will be there with education and cessation resources. It's going to be fun, and it also shows the kids that there's other alternatives other than vaping. Massachusetts, New York, and Rhode Island have all banned flavored tobacco products like this. Connecticut lawmakers tried to do the same thing, but their efforts went up in smoke. It's, it's a bill that's... Uh, that right now I believe is going to need just a little bit more work. State Rep Geraldo Reyes, who represents Waterbury, supports a bill that's been put on hold this year banning flavored tobacco in the nutmeg state. State level flavored tobacco bans are the easiest way to limit products like these. Reyes says Connecticut's attempt failed over one big sticking point, a carve out exempting menthols. From the commerce side, they believe that that's the number one seller. Markets come and go, and there's always going to be a, re a replacement product. But the public health and the uh, public safety and mental health doesn't change for me. Reyes hopes to pass the ban next year, but Waterbury health officials are hoping to change a few attitudes before then. The more they are aware of, you know, uh, what's in this stuff, um, that they may take a look at, okay, well, I don't, I don't want this happening to my brain. I don't want this happening to my lungs. In Waterbury, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.